Let's talk about the five traits of being a high value man. I believe every man out there wants to get better. They want to improve. They want to level up. They want to contribute to society. But some of us are experiencing some growth pains. And I believe part of it is we don't have a proper blueprint. Some of us grew up without fathers. Some of us have fathers that aren't reliable, that aren't available. So they didn't set the right example for us. So we have to go out and search for these examples. Now, there comes a time we just have to take ownership and not blame, you know, that situation anymore. We can't just keep blaming our fathers for just not being there and being a victim. That doesn't help us at all. What do high value men do in order to improve their lives? Well, the first thing they're doing is they're leaders. They're initiating things. They're not waiting for things to get done. They're taking the leading role. So if you see them at work, maybe they're seeking management positions, ownership positions, and they're taking on these roles because they want to improve as a leader. So you got to be the type of guy who's just going to take the first step, who's going to initiate things, who's not going to wait around for anything to happen. If you're a husband out there, this is a great opportunity to be a leader. You can be the leader of your household. Maybe you you know, take the example of just taking care of things or taking your wife out on dates and playing those things without asking her. Maybe you do things for her on a day-to-day basis that makes you a better leader, right? That's one way you can get better. Maybe you're part of a church and you want to get involved more where you just get involved. You don't wait for your pastor's approval. You just get started. So those are just some ways you can actually improve your leadership in life. You know, it's not easy. So you got to get out of your comfort zone. You got to, you know, be able to do things, even if it's not comfortable. And it won't be easy to be a better leader. But if you go this route, you're continue to increase your value and become that high value man you're looking to become. The second thing that high value men exhibit is self-confidence. They move forward, they know who they are, and they know where they're going. Yes, they probably get compliments from their family and friends, from their girlfriends or wives, but it's not the driving factor. It's not what motivates them. They already have the confidence to accomplish what they want. Now, there's an example that I read about from the 12 Rules of Life written by Jordan Peterson. It was a lobster example. And he said that the lobsters with high serotonin were cocky, were confident, and they didn't back down from challenges. The lobsters with low serotonin backed down from challenges. They didn't have the confidence to meet those obstacles head on. So they just hit. They just went in a corner and stayed there. So don't be the type of man who just hides in the corner, who just you know doesn't want to take on challenges, who runs from things. Be confident that you have the abilities, that you have the skills to get things done. The third trait of a high value man is they take care of themselves. They value their health. They want to eat good. They want to look good. So they're in the gym. They make sure they're working out. They have fitness goals they're trying to achieve. And I try to go to the gym four to five days a week. That is my weekly goal. I have a trainer that I see on a week-to-week basis with my wife just to improve my workouts, just to know that I'm doing the exercise correctly. And it helps me with my health. You know, it holds me accountable because I have to track my calories. So I try to do that on a day-to-day basis so I can just improve my life. And if there's something out of the way, then I talk to my trainer. He says, hey, let's cut that out. Let's try this instead. That helps me because if, I don't show up <laughs> on a week to week basis and I go to his workout. Well, that's not going to help me because he's going to know, hmm, have you been taking care of yourself that week? So I would encourage you to get some accountability. You know, it's great to go to the gym, but maybe get a trainer or you know, maybe have a friend who can hold you accountable who is into fitness and will make sure you're on track. That's what I would do. And that's what high value men do. They will always make sure they're going to value their health. They're going to take care of themselves and they're going to always be in the best shape possible. The fourth trait of a high value man is they take ownership of everything. They take ownership of their financial life, their spiritual life, their emotional life, their mental life, their physical life. Every part that needs to improve, they take ownership of. They don't cry in the corner. They don't blame people for their problems. They don't victimize themselves. They take control. They evaluate their progress. They look at where they are and they look to improve. That's where you want to be. You want to get to a point where you can actually humble yourself. Even if you're raising your level, you're raising your value. If you can evaluate the progress, you're going to be in a good position because you're not going to get too confident. Yes, confidence is important, but you can turn that into arrogance and pride. And you don't want to be in a position where you're too prideful that you're not going to listen to feedback. So make sure you take ownership of things. What I would encourage you to do is when it comes to comparison, compare yourself to yesterday. Don't compare yourself to the future or to people around you, compare yourself to the version of you from yesterday and look at it and go, okay, what did I do well? What did I do right? What did I do wrong? And how can I improve in those areas? When you go that route, what you're doing is you're taking ownership. You're taking control 
and you're not allowing the victim mentality to take over your process. That's what high value men do. They take complete ownership of everything. They take responsibility and they make sure that, hey, if something's out of control, they're going to look at themselves in the mirror and make sure they improve those areas that is bringing them down and lowering their value. The fifth trait of a high value man is valuing their time. They don't just waste their time on frivolous activities. They maximize every single second, every single minute, and every single hour. Are they perfect? No. So don't try to be perfect at this. But what I would encourage you to do is have a schedule. I would encourage you to maybe write five to six things you want to get done on a day-to-day basis and go get those things done. And that's what high value men do. They value their own time. They live on purpose. They're not living by accident. It's so important to them because they want to make sure that, you know, they're living to their potential. They're maximizing their time on this earth. They don't want to just sit on the couch and just wonder about what they're going to do next. They already have every activity planned out and thought out. It's not just something they're doing and they don't have a purpose behind it. No, no, no. They value their time. So you want to do the same thing as a man. Don't just you know waste your hours away on things that don't matter, on things that don't serve you well. Find things that will build your value. And I believe if we follow these traits, we'll become better men. I believe we can function as the man we're supposed to be if we follow this blueprint. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.